everyone, so today I will be reviewing the MAC Hot and Naughty Lash Mascara. And so I always call it Hot and Naughty, but I think the proper pronunciation is Hot because when I went to buy it, the makeup artist said, I said, can I have some Hot and Naughty mascara? And they were like, you mean Hot? So I think that's the proper pronunciation, but I may call it the wrong thing, so forgive me if I do. <laughs> So anyway, I love this mascara, and as you can see, it has these cute little wand tips, and I love that also. I think it's just to get people to say, oh, that's shiny, I want it. So, but it, I mean, it worked, and the product works, so hey, it's not bad. So it has two mascara wands, well, two, it does two things. This pink one is for a more natural, separated look with your lashes, and then the purple one is for a more dramatic, voluminous look look so here is the pink wand as you can see it is doesn't have as much mascara and it really separates your lashes really really well and then this purple wand you just twist and the pink one comes off with it and so it as you can see has so much more mascara on it it'll just coat your lashes with mascara and so I want to show you this fun little thing that I discovered. There's actually not two wands in here, there's just one. But, so if you take this pink one off like I showed you, and then you take the purple one off, there's no wand. <laughs> Isn't that funny? So basically whenever this pink wand goes through the purple wand to come out, it takes most of the mascara off of it so that your lashes aren't coated with as much. And then when you take the purple off, it doesn't go through that um, the part on the purple because it just stays in the bottom. So the mascara doesn't come off of the wand. So you get more mascara on your lashes. So I just thought that was fun to know how it works. So anyways, I do not have mascara on right now. I'll zoom in so you can see. I just put a little eyeliner on, but that's the only eye makeup I have on. Just so that you can see... Um, when I put this on. So I'm going to put on the pink one first, this pink one, and just show you how that looks. So let me get close here. It just gives you a really nice natural look. without, you know, coating on the mascara too much. And I just wiggle it back and forth just to get some more product on and to evenly distribute it. I think this mascara makes my lashes so long that I can't help but getting some on my on my lid here so you'd think that I would have perfected this by now but it's also a little harder to see on camera so I'm kind of a perfectionist I like them all to be perfect <laughs> so as you can see Okay, so that's the natural look. I'm going to do the bottom lashes really fast. I like to go over them with the tip just because I feel like I have more control. And they don't get as clumpy. But I'll go over them with the other part in just a little bit. So I don't know if I mentioned this, but I like to... go over my lashes with the pink part. And then, see as you can see, here's with the pink mascara and here's without any so it looks really really great I really like this look and I'm gonna just do the other one really fast for you and anyway as I was saying um, I like to go over them with the pink mascara and then go back over them with the purple so that makes a really nice look if you're just going to you know maybe school or work you could just do the pink but then if you wanted to go out you know, you may want to do both, or just the just the purple, but I find that if you just do the purple, your lashes get a little clumpy. So this kind of helps um, separate your lashes before you go back with the purple. 
So it really is two mascaras in one, even though you don't get two wands. Don't feel ripped off. I didn't make, mean to make you feel like that. <laughs> I was just saying it's cool how they decided to put the wands in there. So let me get all these little baby lashes coated here. Sorry for being so messy. I got it all over my eyelid there. I don't know what I was doing. Probably blabbing. So there it is. Sorry. I keep... I'm such a perfectionist. Okay. So there it is with just the pink on it. So I'm going to zoom out here really quickly and just show you. I just put this pink on. And so, you know, it looks really good. It looks good compared to when I didn't have anything on. So it gives, it gives some good definition, and it's great for an everyday mascara. Now, I love my lashes to be really, really long. So let me get this more light over here. Um, I love them to be really, really long. So I apply both of them every single day. And so here, oh, actually, sorry, I forgot to show you this. Um, this purple wand, I'm going to go back with this one, and I'm just going to show you how I do this. So I'm just going to stick it back in there and swipe a little bit off the sides because it gets a little too clumpy. So here, see there's not as much on there. I took a little bit off and so that way it just creates a smoother, a little more, I mean I don't want a natural look obviously but I, just, I don't want it to look too fake. So let me go back over these and you can just see. Oh and I don't let the bottom mascara dry all the way because if I do, it just it gets even more clumpy. So I just let it dry maybe 15, 30 seconds. And as you can see, look at all this volume. It's crazy. Oh, I messed up again. Look how horrible I am. I'm going to touch this up really fast with a Q-tip because I'm just being such a wreck. Okay. So, wow, look at all that volume compared to this one. And you can see the tops of them. So much. It's crazy. Okay, now I'm just going to do the bottoms. Yeah, so there you go. Look at that. That is crazy. Look at how much more volume this eye has than this eye. Yeah. So that is why I love, love, love this mascara. Okay, so I'm just going to dip it back in the tube, but then I'm just going to um, take some of it off, take some of the extra mascara off again, and then do this eye. You can just see the lashes. It looks like they're just growing. They're cr It's crazy. I love this mascara. Now, I'll, sh I'll tell you, before I used this, I used the Prep and Prime for your eyelashes, the white mascara from MAC, and the black Zoom Lash over it, and, you know, I achieved a really um, great look with tons of volume, but I like this better. I feel like my lashes look a little more natural, and they're more separated, so look at how great that looks. Now, you kind of do have to be patient with this mascara, because... If you try to rush, it will look really sloppy. As you can tell, I was talking and trying to rush a little bit earlier, and I got it all over me. So, But look how even separated those bottom lashes are. That's just... It's amazing that it can make your lashes so long and still stay separated. I mean, it looks like I'm wearing fake lashes. I'm not even kidding. People ask me if I'm wearing fake lashes like my friends do. And I say, hey, just get this mascara from MAC. It's great. So look at how look at how awesome that looks. Such definition. And again, you can just wear the pink one by itself or the purple one. I don't recommend that one by itself or together. So this one for every day, just natural looking defined lashes and this one both of them together for so much volume and dramatic lashes and for going out at night or for I wear it every single day and so it just it looks so awesome and I highly recommend this mascara so everyone you should go out and buy it if you want 
totally defined, awesome looking lashes. So this is Sarah from the Style Blog, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.